Welcome to the real-time settings tutorial for Keyshot 4. These settings determine what you see in your real-time view and can be accessed in the project window under the settings tab. The first parameter to consider is resolution. If you know your final rendering output will be, for example, 8.5 by 11, it's good practice to set this here and lock aspect to maintain proportions when the window is scaled. You can also lock the resolution at a particular size so it will remain constant at all times. Brightness and gamma adjustments here are not to be confused with your environment settings. These adjustments are post processes, so the image doesn't require recalculation when the values are changed. For realistic effects, it is recommended to keep these values at their default. However, for very dark materials or scenes, you may want to bump up your gamma to bring out lost details. Performance mode can be enabled here or by pressing Alt-P. This helps the real-time view res up faster by turning off shadows and ray bounces. Under quality mode, you can adjust the amount of ray bounces occurring in your scene. This applies most commonly to glass, liquid, and other transparent materials. If this value is too low, light does not penetrate the watch face. These settings will be reflected in the final render output, so for most efficient render times, increase this only until changes are no longer visible. Increasing shadow quality will also increase render times. So before adjusting this, try decreasing your ground size in the Environments tab first. Self-shadows refer to those cast onto the model. For realistic effects, this should remain enabled. Global illumination refers to indirect light bouncing between 3D geometry. Although this does increase render time, it should typically be enabled for realistic effects, especially when working with transparent materials and physical lights. Finally, ground illumination is the indirect light bouncing between 3D geometry and the ground, as you can see here. For a more in-depth explanation of these settings, reference the manual found under the Help menu.